So in this problem, we need to evaluate the expression. We have different values of x, y, and z, so let's plug those in. If we plug in 3 for x, we get 3 squared minus x times y, so that would be 3 times negative 2, and I'm putting, using parentheses since I have two numbers multiplied by each other, and then plus y times z is negative 2 times negative 5. So using the order of operations, I do my parentheses first. So to do parentheses first, I'll do my 3 times negative 2 first. A positive times a negative is a negative. So 3 times 2 is 6. We get 3 squared minus, and then we have a negative 6. Since it's still negative, I'll, I'll leave it in the parentheses. And then plus, we have negative 2 times negative 5. A negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 5 is 10, so I'll just leave it as plus 10. And I can drop the parentheses on that one since the, um, since the negative goes away. From here, I can bring down my 3 squared again. A negative times a negative is a positive, so this would make plus 6 and then plus 10. Next, we can do, in our order of operations, we can do exponents next. So that gives us 3 squared would be 3 times 3, which is 9. We have 9 plus 6 plus 10. From here, we have only additions. We can just add straight across. 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 10 more is 25. So the final answer would be 25. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel for more homework help questions.